Severo Ochoa de Albornoz Spanish say beta e o o toa e al beta o no theta the 24th of September 1905 to the 1st of November 1993 was a Spanish American physician and biochemist and joint winner of the 1959 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine with Arthur Kornberg Topic Early Life Severo Ochoa was born in Luarca, Asturias, Spain. His father was Severo Manuel Ochoa, a lawyer and businessman, and his mother was Carmen de Albornoz. Ochoa was the nephew of Álvaro de Albornoz, president of the Second Spanish Republic that was exiled, 1947–1951, and a cousin of the poet and critic Aurora de Albornoz. His father died when Ochoa was seven, and he and his mother moved to Malaga, where he attended elementary school through high school. His interest in biology was stimulated by the publications of the Spanish neurologist and Nobel laureate Santiago Ramón y Cajal. In 1923, he went to the University of Madrid Medical School, where he hoped to work with Cajal, but Cajal retired. He studied with Father Pedro Arup, and Juan Negrin was his teacher. Negrin encouraged Ochoa and another student, José Valdecasas, to isolate creatinine from urine. The two students succeeded and also developed a method to measure small levels of muscle creatinine. Ochoa spent the summer of 1927 in Glasgow working with D. Noel Patton on creatine metabolism improving his English skills. During the summer he refined the assay procedure further and upon returning to Spain he and Valdecasas submitted a paper describing the work to the Journal of Biological Chemistry, where it was rapidly accepted Ochoa, S., and Valdecasas, J. G. a micromethod for the estimation of total creatinine in muscle. J. Bile, Chem. 81-351-357, marking the beginning of Ochoa's biochemistry career, Ochoa completed his undergraduate medical degree in the summer of 1929 and developed an interest in going abroad to gain further research experience. His previous creatine and creatinine work led to an invitation to join Otto Meyerhoff's laboratory at the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Biology in berlin Dahlem in 1929. At that time the institute was a hotbed of the rapidly evolving discipline of biochemistry, and thus Ochoa had the experience of meeting and interacting with scientists such as Otto Warburg, Karl Neuberg, Ina Lunsgaard, and Fritz Lippmann in addition to Meyerhoff who had received the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine less than a decade earlier. In 1930 Ochoa returned to Madrid to complete research for his MD thesis, which he defended that year. In 1931, a newly minted M.D., he married Carmen Garcia Cobian, he did not have any children. He then began postdoctoral study at the London National Institute for Medical Research NIMR, where he worked with Sir Henry Dale. His London research involved the enzyme glyoxylase and was an important departure in Ochoa's career in two respects. First, the work marked the beginning of Ochoa's lifelong interest in enzymes. Second, the project was at the cutting edge of the rapidly evolving study of intermediary metabolism. In 1933, the Ochoas returned to Madrid where he began to study glycolysis in heart muscle. Within two years, he was offered the directorship of the physiology section in a newly created Institute for Medical Research at the University of Madrid Medical School. Unfortunately, the appointment was made just as the Spanish Civil War erupted. Ochoa decided that trying to perform research in such an environment would destroy forever his chances of becoming a scientist. Thus, after much thought, my wife and I decided to leave Spain. Quote, in September 1936 Severo and Carmen began what he later called the wander years as they traveled from Spain to Germany, to England, and ultimately to the United States within a span of four years. Topic. Wandering through Europe Ochoa left Spain and returned to Meyerhoff's Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Biology now relocated in Heidelberg, where Ochoa found a profoundly changed research focus. During his 1930 visit the laboratory work was classical physiology, which Ochoa described as one could see muscles twitching everywhere. By 1936 Meyerhoff's laboratory had become one of the world's foremost biochemical facilities focused on processes such as glycolysis and fermentation. Rather than studying muscles, twitch, 
The lab was now purifying and characterizing the enzymes involved in muscle action but were involved in yeast fermentation. From then until 1938, he held many positions and worked with many people at many places. For example, Otto Meyerhoff appointed him guest research assistant at the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Medical Research in Heidelberg for one year. From 1938 until 1941 he was demonstrator and Nuffield research assistant at the University of Oxford. In the U.S. He then went to the United States, where he again held many positions at several universities. In 1942 he was appointed research associate in medicine at the New York University School of Medicine and there subsequently became assistant professor of biochemistry 1945, professor of pharmacology 1946, professor of biochemistry 1954, and chairman of the Department of Biochemistry. In 1956, he became an American citizen. In 1959, Ochoa was awarded the Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine for his work on the synthesis of RNA. Ochoa continued research on protein synthesis and replication of RNA viruses until 1985, when he returned to Spain and gave advice to Spanish science policy authorities. Ochoa was also a recipient of U.S. National Medal of Science in 1978. Severo Ochoa died in Madrid, Spain on November 1, 1993. His wife died in 1986. Long after his death, Spanish actress Sara Montiel claimed that she and Severo Ochoa were involved in an unconfirmed romantic relationship in the 1950s, as stated in an interview in Spanish newspaper El Pais. El gran amor de mi vida ha sido Severo Ochoa. Puro few un amor impossible. Clandestino. Estaba casado y, Adimas, no pagaba que al estuviera investigando y yo haciendo peliculas. The great love of my life was Severo Ochoa. But it was an impossible love. Clandestine. He was married, and besides, him doing research and me doing films wasn't a good match. <laughs> Legacy A new research center that was planned in the 1970s, was finally built and named after Centro de Biología Molecular Severo Ochoa. The asteroid 117435 Severochoa is also named in his honor. In June 2011, the United States Postal Service issued a stamp honoring him, as part of the American Scientists Collection, along with Melvin Calvin, Asa Gray, and Maria Gopert Mayer. This was the third volume in the series. Topic. Bibliography Ochoa, S. 1980. A Pursuit of a Hobby. Annual Review of Biochemistry. 49 1 30. doi 10.1146, anarev.bi.49.07018.0002452. PMID 6773467. Topic. See also History of RNA biology List of RNA biologists Topic. Notes Topic. References Kornberg, Arthur Severo Ochoa, the 24th of September 1905 to the 1st of November 1993. Proceedings of the American Philosophical Society, 141 to 479 minus 491. Topic. External links. Severo Ochoa biography at NobelPrize.org. Severo Ochoa Facts at Nobel Prize. Org.